Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Uh, happy Lunar New Year for those of you who are celebrating. Uh, uh, as you may know, I am currently in Vietnam and it's quite festive here. I mean, a, a lot of shops are closed, but you know, there's flowers everywhere and the weather is just so hot, but it's like, actually it's the cooler time of, their year, uh, of the year apparently. So it's um, really comfortable and you know, just having a good time here. Um, so today I figure I will show you guys um, a bag that is, again, my sister-in-law's bag. I don't have too many bags with me for the trip, but uh, it's a bag that I've always been very kind of intrigued and um, I've looked into it in the past but never actually pulled the trigger on. So it's great because her collection is quite different from mine. So I get a chance to review some of the bags that I um, don't have in my own collection. But anyways, it's a very festive bag. So I think it would be uh, fitting for me to show you guys what it is. So it is actually in a mini size and it's such a beautiful, gorgeous bag. And it's a Louis Vuitton bag, which I don't actually have too many of anymore. At one point I did have a lot of Louis Vuitton bags, but um, um, anyways, I've either sold of them or um, they are, um, anyways, I don't have too many, but I do have a few more like vintage pieces in my collection still. Anyways, this bag is a very popular bag from Louis Vuitton and it's one of their uh, very successful kind of um, chain, I would say. Don't know if you guys can guess what it is. And I've mentioned in my previous videos that she is very much of a, um, maybe I have not, actually this will be the first one so she my sister-in-law um has a very different collection than I, than I do she doesn't like neutral color boring colors she um tend to have more bright um very um uh like a lot of pink and uh blues and color bags essentially but and this one is a fairly new addition to hers and it's such a gorgeous bag here's a little reveal Whoops, it's stuck. Ta da! It's this beautiful mini capucin bag. So, this is in the mini size. Uh, I could get a measurement and maybe I'll put it in later. But look how beautiful this little bag is. Oh my goodness. So, some close up shots. Has a very pretty gold monogram hardware logo right here. And it's in the hot pink. I feel like the camera is giving off more of a reddish white, but it's really more of a dark fuchsia pink color. So like I said, super suitable for the new year. And again, the mini trend is big in uh, anywhere, especially in Asia, I would have to say, because I mean, a lot of us are smaller in height and in size overall. So this looks really good on her um it's um i would say it's quite comparable to like a mini chanel bag a little bit even smaller so more of the mini square and it has a flap right here which again the flap is quite like the 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 closure it's kind of an interesting concept because there's no real lock or magnet or anything like that it really just slides in into a hook right there i'll show you that's the interior as well you want to show the monogram here so the flap really goes inner instead of flap in the outside so i'll show you like it's not really like this although i guess you could carry like this gives a different kind of vibe and because it has this very beautiful clove um, that signifies the brand too. I think it's actually quite cute like this. Looks a bit different. And if you look at interior, this is really new, so she still have the plastics protection on it. And if you look interior, it just have one like sort of a handle flap that puts in place and that's it. And then you have a main compartment and a card slot in the back right here. There's no zipper compartment whatsoever. This one is made in France, which you have the stamp right here. Um, it's one of the newer ones where they no longer have a date stamp inside. So it has a chip 
somewhere, which I wouldn't know, but there is a chip somewhere. Um, there is the product code that she's still having here. Yeah, so it's the Capucin Mini Infusia. And again, this, this code is no longer the same as whatever the, the product code that they used to have. So I wouldn't know. Just like by looking at the bag, you wouldn't know exactly when and where it was produced. I mean, you have the stamp right here, which again, like I was never a huge fan of that. Same thing with when Chanel changed their hologram system because I'm not familiar with the new system. The new system is designed so that the company themselves can uh, authenticate and can like manipulate the, the like art, have a better tracking system. But for us users, for us buyers, I don't think it's actually a helpful change, right? Because you, you wouldn't know, uh, you know, it gives you less information on the bag uh, in comparison. So I also think the, the design of the hoop on the handle is quite, um, quite pretty because it is a leather, leather imposed ring on the side. I'll show you guys some uh, mock shots in a little bit. So it comes with a leather strap. This is an adjustable one. I've seen so many, like I did go on the website and check out different versions of the Capsule bag and they have like so many different versions. Some of them, a lot of the mini versions are the chain version, which doesn't actually have adjustable strap. This is with the LV logo right here. And it has a adjustable strap with five adjustable holes right here. The leather looks nice. So the stitching on the strap looks okay. Like, I mean, it's their current standard. So it's, it's fine. Um, the glazing looks good. She does use this quite a bit. And I mean, when she, pick the bag obviously she wasn't really considering the fact that it has a lighter color handle so if you look at the bag it actually really has three color combination so you have the main body in fuchsia and you have the feet underneath um which are in pristine condition so she probably hasn't landed on any hard soft uh, hard sulfurs or anything like that there is a bit of color transfer i'm not noticing right now you could probably use a baby wipe to clean it and a lighter color pink like a really light color pink handle so that's essentially the combination of this one i wasn't able to locate the exact version on the website but there are many similar ones another cool thing that came with this bag though is it does actually have a charm that goes with the bag which i think is a pretty cute addition it's very heavy she doesn't actually use it with it but there's this very beautiful Louis Vuitton chain which I guess you could technically use it as a chain to the bag or as a charm which I don't actually know how to play with it you could use it maybe as an extension to the strap which will give you an extra like bling to it otherwise if you hold it like this, maybe it could be like a shoulder bag. Like this. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be used. I'm not sure, but this seemed to work. Very cute. I don't think she's ever actually used use it like this. So there is five motifs on the chain. It looks very like well made it's quite heavy but the chain is very pretty close-up shot okay i'll give you guys as you guys know i'm not i don't have like the best angle now with it is large enough for your hands to fit through like this yeah in terms of what it fits. So like I said, it is kind of the length of a mini square. This is a remote for the 
for the AC, it kind of fits. So it, unless you have an extremely large phone, most phones 